Good afternoon, Stampers. I'm so glad you came to join me at Stamps and Tea, and uh, I sure hope you got your cup of tea ready and are ready to play. I discovered something really fun. Check these out. Look, they're the new note card envelopes that are in the new big book, and I discovered that they are the perfect size for a gift card holder. Isn't that so fun? This is a real easy project, so I hope you're going to enjoy making it. So, let's get going. First of all, you need your little note card envelope and um, we're going to score it down the middle, which I had to do a little bit of math here, not easy. It is five and an eighth, so I figured out that it was two and a half and a sixteenth. What's that? Two and nine sixteenths, right? You're going to just score it down the centre. See, I'm just sparking today, super good at my math skills. So, I'm getting here. so here's the start for my little card holder then you take the flap and slip it down the middle easy peasy piece of cheesy and I'm gonna lick this off camera glue half down and then this piece I'm gonna simply tuck inside here it probably would have been easier if I'd have done that first before the gluing <laughs> oh, and even better if I didn't drop it on the floor <laughs> okay there we go it was easy honest I'm going to take our little um, gift card, slide it in there, see how easy that is. And then there's the base for your gift card holder, which you could decorate, you know, a hundred gazillion different ways. Now I'm going to use my brand new toys. So excited to have new toys. I've got the Chalk Talk stamp set and then the Chalk Talk framelits. When I first saw the new big book, these were just jumped out at me. I had to have them. So we're going to use this one and this one today and the framelits. I just had to get them right away. I thought they were super cool. I'm going to start off by stamping this image here in the strawberry slush and in the coastal cabana and to stamp the for you sign. Isn't that cool? So this one I can cut out with the punch. This is the one and three sixteenth inch punch. Oh no, one and three eighths. And then I'm going to use my new magnetic platform. So excited to have this. Look how cool this works. So just lay that on, take the corresponding piece, and then look how this just kind of sticks in place. Look, I can move it around and it just stays in the right place. So I'm just going to put it where I want it. Look, doesn't move. Isn't that so cool? Then I can put the other plate on top and roll it through my Big Shot. I'm so excited. I've always been doing that using the post-it notes and now I don't have to. So now I've got my two pieces. I can glue this on here like this. I want it to go straight up and down. And then I'm going to stamp the I can't thank you enough greeting. So in the strawberry slush, try and get it in the middle of this. And I'm going to stamp it on my scrap piece here just with the heart. Then I'm going to cut the heart out. And it's a good idea when you cut something like this out too. <laughs> so now I just got to stick it all together. I'm going to stick a puppy on here, just one, not the whole sheet. Like this. Oh, can't get it off. Come off. Put that on here. And then I'm simply going to glue my paper. Look at this pretty paper. This is new. Also, the Designer Series blocks. These are the in colours. They gave us these in Fiji. I just love the different patterns they've got this year. And I love that it's white and not just a lighter colour. This is my favourites, I just love them. So I think I might do a spotty one. I always go for spots or stripes, I have to say. I'm going to stick this on here, like this. 
And a little piece of Coastal Cabana on here. Then the I Can't Thank You Enough written on here. And inside this piece here. Isn't that so easy? I hope you go and make a bunch of these and share with me what you did. I would love to see. And then here we have the cute clips. These are really fun to use. I think I've been using them a bunch. So you could do the speech bubble, it could be what you're saying. Or you could do the coat hanger, it's kind of fun. Or there's a big arrow. So um, all three of the designs are really cool. I think I'm going to put a coat hanger on this one. I'll just have to wrestle with it a little bit to get it in there. Look, here is my finished project. Easy peasy piece of cheesy. Hey, thanks for joining me. Come back to stampsandtea.com real soon. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day now. Bye.